Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is Dub Audio Projects here with another RC review. If this is your first time here to the channel, uh, please consider throwing that thumbs up and subscribing. So this is a little bit different here, this is a 112 scale RC tank. This was sent out to me by Bwine, the seller from Amazon. He actually sent me out a the gray version, so there's two different color variations. There's a white tank and a gray tank. So let's take a look around in the box, and the reason why I kind of like looking at the box it's, um, you know, if you're considering giving this as a gift to your niece, nephew, son or daughter, you know, for their birthday or Christmas gift, you know, you're kind of embarrassed when you unwrap the, the present and you see this box. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. So removing the box, it's actually well packaged together. And the thing that's on top here is a card from Beeline. Uh, so this is requesting for you guys to do a review on Amazon if you do purchase through Beeline. And it will send out a free battery. So this is a water bottle. So this actually has like a misting option to it. And I'll kind of go into more detail. Of like how to fill up the RC tank. And actually how to activate it. So let's go ahead and pull out the tank itself. And let's go ahead and remove the plastic uh, protective bag around it. So as I remove the RC tank from the protective bag. One of the first things I notice is to kind of shade of gray that they use here on this RC tank. So they actually nailed it in the head in regards to the actual like shade of gray. It does really have that military style theme here. And also like the angles. So they have the gray and the black thing going on here. And just the way that, you know, all the little details kind of tied in together. You know, two thumbs up, you know, BY for actually designing, you know, a well-made theme of a military style vehicle. So this RC tank actually comes with uh, two batteries. Both of the batteries are 7.4, 1500 milliamps. So one battery actually comes in a bag. The second battery is actually inside the battery tray compartment. I really didn't find it out till later. And each battery comes with their own charger. So they're a USB style charger. So you can plug this into you know, your cell phone adapter or even your car if you're like on the go. You just plug into the battery um, charging port here. So the controller is pretty basic. You have two buttons. You have your smoking button, your on off button. The smoking button actually activates the missing options. So I'll go into further detail um, later in the video. The left and right knob, it doesn't have the foam that goes around it. And the RC tank doesn't come with the three AA batteries that are required. Uh, Beeline did actually a good job with the manual. So it's very well laid out. Uh, it's very colorful, pretty easy to read. You know, however, it doesn't come out with the or doesn't come with the parts breakdown list. So, Beeline, if you're listening, maybe the next print you'll have a parts breakdown list. So, my first impressions, like looking at this tank, uh, it's very detailed. It, unlike other RC control cars, where you have your Lexon body, um, then it's kind of painted through. This actually has tremendous amount of detail. So, I'm kind of work uh, the front. Then we're going to look through the rear. So looking at the front here, you have kind of bumpers. Then you have these like fake hooks and, you know, your uh, bull guard. But you actually have functional lights on the bumper. Uh, moving to the top portion. A set of stickers, I believe these are, these are actually painted. Um, then the feel of the paint's actually like a texture. So I'm assuming that the body's textured and they painted, painted it over with gray. But if you notice here, this is like the little kind of details. They have like fake ribbons. But instead of painting this gray, they actually left this black, which is kind of nice. And they actually painted this over here um, to simulate, I guess, like a metal uh, metal piece of the body. And I, what I also noticed, just taking a look at it closer inside the house, is that uh, the front windshield they even have fake um, windshield wipers. And you got fake lights up here. But they actually have functional doors. So my actually, my kids love this part of it. Besides this, uh, besides this uh, smoke simulation. So with the with the doors open, you actually have some details of the cabin. And if you have a son with like GI Joe figures, uh, they actually could put them in there depending on the size. So my daughter was trying to st uh, stick her Hatchimos in there. 
their doors closed. These are kind of like going doors. And once again, just like pointing out the details. So the fake rivets, it's actually painted black. Then you have your, you know, your your plastic glass here and your plastic glass on uh, the other side. And on the top, you'll notice like a LED bar strip. This actually works. So I'm going to demonstrate that also and turn it on. But moving on along, uh, once again, some more details. They have actually painted, um, you know, decorations here. This hook is actually painted silver or or maybe it's actually um, probably laid over, but it's a different color. So it's kind of nice. Uh, this black vent actually has a hole, but, you know, obviously it's only for decorations. There's no functionality, but it looks kind of nice. You know, your fake rivets again, and once again... The rear bar here is kept black, uh, which adds a nice detail to it. And the rear cat or the rear hatch of this, you, know, you got military police. Then you have these little details, uh, like hook styles. Then moving to the rear, so these are where um, the smoke or mist will come out. And on the top is where you'll actually put your water, and I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. Then you kind of have lights back here and a fake uh, hook with a bull guard. Then just so you look at the other side, you, you, you have the same uh, style on this side here. Doors open. Then we're moving back to the front. This is my first RC uh, tank. And the one thing kind of besides the actual body is actual tracking system. So what I noticed is looking at it, so there's three shocks here. They actually provide some rebound, but what um, what helps the suspension is actually this coil system. I'm not sure if you can see here. So this coil system is actually connected to uh, this front suspension portion. And it actually leans kind of at the rear. So when, it's, uh, when you're taking it off, it actually kind of, it dips to the rear. Not quite sure if they should put the coil system in the back, but I'll do some testing and I'll demonstrate it in the video later on. But overall, it has some detailed tracks here, soft. And it looks really well constructed. Has nice actuation. So when I bring it down, it pops up. So I'm assuming if you go over rough terrain, should, this should be able to handle it. I'm not quite sure if it'll jump. I'll probably put a GPS on this, see how fast it goes. But I don't think that's the intent of this tank is more or less to go over like grass and semi-rough terrain. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing on. We'll see the starting, starting sequence. So what I'll do is, I know this is probably backwards. So once you turn on the vehicle... It goes into a learning mode, so pairing mode for the controller. You'll notice that it has blue lights in the front, and the LED bar kind of does a Knight Rider thing going on there. And the rear lights, these are, I guess these are actually dummy lights because there's no light bulbs back here. So I'll go ahead and turn on the vehicle. So you'll know it's paired. The blue lights actually stay solid, so I'm blinking to solid. And the top lights will keep doing the Knight Rider type of theme. All right, so let's go ahead and see about the smoke. So we take out the cap, so this is a simulated gas tank. Uh, this is the included water bottle. It looks like a kid's like baby bottle. You pour the water inside put the cap back on then you go ahead and press the smoking button so you press it one and it turns on and I, <laughs> I didn't realize but okay so it has LED lights in the rear this is actually pretty nice so it blinks red and black and there's kind of wind outside so it's kind of blowing to one side but <laughs> I'm not quite sure if any other RC trucks or tanks have this type of functionality, but this is actually pretty cool. Must <laughs> this is pretty neat. So go ahead if you want to turn it off. You press a button, and it turns it off. 
let me go ahead and demonstrate the the movement to the left to right so it does advertise as a 360 so I'm gonna go ahead let's do the 360 so I'm going left and I'm slowly going left and go all the way left so this is me fully engaging going left and me fully engaging right once again if I press the uh, smoking button I guess you could have a smoke screen here. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, this is actually pretty cool. Alright, let me go ahead and do a different angle here to see it taken. So this is uh, me going halfway through the throttle. And I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the throttle all the way. So this thing is not fast but once again this is actually on a track system so I guess it's pretty quick for what it is so here it is in reverse full reverse partial reverse partial front full throttle so it does kick up a little bit so this is the way it's actually sitting. So it sits with a squat to the rear. So uh, with the weight, and if you actually full throttle it, it actually wants to do like a willy. Oh, it turns quick. All right. See what you're doing here. Whoa. So the one thing I noticed is that this thing is loud. <laughs> the, my next door neighbor dog is actually barking at this thing. Let me get it. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna try a little obstacle here. So I have a couple of uh, logs here. All right, it's going over. <laughs> Okay, let's go try this again with the angle. Oh, as you can tell, it goes over. This thing is capable of going over. So as you can see here, if you go in the objects and you go uh, front first, it can hit this part of this track system. Um, the one that kind of keeps us centered here. So the trick is to get it enough where it actually hits the actual track portion here so it can get some traction. Enough of that. Little obstacles here. I'll take this a little slow. Oh, I guess. Oh, actually, hot. So this is off road capable. So guys, this is actually pretty, pretty fun here. So asphalt goes over well. Uh, rocks you uh, saw earlier actually goes over well. Grass doesn't seem to be a problem. 
I'm not sure. It kind of does like a bunny hop if you play with the throttle a little bit. Let's take a look at those lights again. So from this angle, it actually looks like the Batmobile. You know, the way that the uh, curved lines on top. It's kind of nice. Man, this is a very interesting vehicle. Uh, so I believe this price range is under 200. I think Amazon's around 150 possibly. Um, so this thing, fun factor wise, it's, it's a fun vehicle. So if, if you're like in the market for a, a tank that has like light capabilities, smoking capabilities, this is probably the RC car for you. So we're at the end of the video and I want to give you guys my overall impressions. So first and foremost, it's the design. So two thumbs up B1 once again for the design. The, you know, the color theme, the actual shade of gray with the black accents all goes well. The design of the body, you know, two thumbs up once again. The second thing is the going doors. You know, I like it that, you know, you can actually open it up and there's like room for your kids figurines to go in there. You know, the imagination is like endless. And plus, like the rear of the bed, they could stick figurines in there too, so they could play like war. Uh, the third thing is actually the misting system. So this is the first time I've actually seen this in an RC uh, control car, so that's pretty neat. How it does or how it holds up in the long run, we'll kind of see, but for right now, it's really cool. Then the last is the obvious is the tracking system. So the tracking system is, you know, very well laid out. It's not quick, so I don't think it's intended to be quick. It goes over grass, rocks goes over obstacles so two thumbs up it does a 360 as advertised so for those who are in the market for a tank i think this is you know well money spent you know i kind of see my son kind of getting you know different objects to see what this thing could crawl over and i think that's what nintendo's purpose is just basically just kind of have fun in your backyard or in at the park when it comes to the overall cons of this vehicle i have two of them so the first one is the lack of parts breakdown list and the second one is the weather durability. Other than that, you know, I really do like this vehicle and I think you guys will too. So once again, this is Dub Body Projects and I'll see you in the next one.